Hey everyone, 732 Review Crew here. I am Mikey. I'm Joe. And I'm Mike. And we are back today with Season 1, Episode 10 of Buffy. This one is titled Nightmares. That's Man. like a horse. Yes. A horse? At night. Nightmares. Nightmare. Yeah, they're like demon horses. Yeah. Without further ado, I think we can just jump right into this episode. Things will be getting be a interesting. And we're going to find out Buffy's a horse girl. In <laughs> three, two, one. Thanks for joining us. Buffy? She's got an axe. Not an axe, it's a stake. She's a Viking. How did she find the master's lair? The name of the episode. <gasps> oh, you're right, Mikey. It's not about horses. It really is the master. <gasps> oh no, she's full of fear. want to go to school sure why not okay anything but dream that dream i spoke with your father oh he's coming right you're on for this weekend you see your dad a lot not a whole lot he's still in l.a he only comes down for weekends sometimes oh huh. when did they get oh. divorced my parents don't even bicker sometimes they glare <laughs> sure i was a really big help though all the slang and everything. I was in mm. so much trouble. Ah, this is a tough topic for them to tackle. Doofus, you're in my light. Wendell, what is wrong with you? Don't you know that she is the center of the universe and the rest of us merely revolve around her? Why is Wendell important? <laughs> Good, Xander, that's the spirit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, Xander's one of those students. 78, where Isaacson describes the rapid... What? Another dream. <laughs> Poor, <yard. laughs> Poor Wendell. You look pretty friendly to me. Oh God. Sorry about that. What? That's a terrifying child. I'm surprised you weren't reacting to that since you're terrified of those. I'm but trying not to make any quick movements. <laughs> In case one crawled on you. Yeah, right. <laughs> They're pretty harmless, especially considering how he's reacting. So the kid is there. Physically there, causing nightmares to become reality. When you were a mortal boy, what did you fear? Monsters. <laughs> I don't like that he has a double fly. voice. But something is happening above. Something new, powerful, psychic force. Do you feel it? I feel change. This is shaping up to be an ominous episode. You just have to remember that your father adores you. Oh. No more than I do, but. Bye. <laughs> Bobby's mom's pretty good. She's trying. How do they not ruffle you? I'm sorry, I'm unruffled by spiders. Now, I'm Team Xander. Nazis crawled all over my face. <laughs> yeah, I'm Team Xander. It's pretty intense. He's definitely like definitely <laughs> afraid of clowns, right? Dude, yeah. Or being in his underwear in front of everybody. Hey, Giles. Wakey, wakey. I was uh, in the stacks. He looks rattled. I think perhaps you'd best have a chat with Wendell himself. Okay. He looks shaken. Do you have a nightmare? What's Probably. going on in the stacks, bro? He got lost in the stacks. You okay? They're not insects. They're arachnids. They're from the Middle East? <laughs> Spiders are arachnids. They have eight legs. Insects only have six. I don't hate spiders. I love them. They hate me. Huh? What do you mean you love spiders? It is platonic, right? <laughs> <laughs> I had the best collection in the Tri County area. It's my kind of guy. Then my folks shipped me off to wilderness camp. Yeah, my kind of guy. All my brother had to do was maintain their habitats. Oh. Instead, he left their heat lamp. No. Week. Oof. Yesterday in class, I thought I'd just nod it off again. But then everyone else started screaming too. It's crazy. Are they a shocker? You've cut history just about every time we've had it. Well, I was there Is this a nightmare time. for Buffy yeah. right now? But in reality? Here. Yeah, no, nah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, this gives me anxiety. Imagine this. Oh, this is like the worst dream to have. Right when you're in school, by the way. You know what's? Hey, man. The one thing I'll pat myself on the back for that ever happened to me, I just took the L. It's just like, well, guess I'm failing. <laughs> he doesn't even look like a high schooler. He's not. He's a child. Oh, yay! Time for another student to be brutally murdered at the school. Why is she in the basement in the first place? She said she was gonna go smoke. Oh. Smoking in the boiler room. Hmm. Lucky 19. Oh, God. Yeah, you're right. Another Muzoon got murdered. What the hell is going on? Smoking gas. <laughs> Can you tell us what happened? I've never seen anything like it. Just the anti-smoking monster. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised he wasn't wearing a shirt that said smoking gills. It's what he said right before. He said Lucky 19. I thought he was referring to like the brand of... It's Lucky Strikes. Strikes. Yeah. She got off pretty easy. Well, the first one's still in a coma. First one? First what? First victim. Multiple people are getting beat up in this basement. Exact same memo as the girl, only he's in worse shape. Is that the boy? It's gotta be, right? I think that was the kid. It's gotta be. Not backing off of this. Cool kids. There's greasers at this high school? Hey, nerd herder. Nerf herder. That's the band. Is that his worst nightmare? Sound like anything. Wait, what? did I guess it? Underwear. Oh my god! Xander, what happened here? Uh, I don't know. I was out of being a tree. Ow, wake up. Ow. He's <laughs> 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 got underwear on. <laughs> How did I. That was so specific to Xander. I'm having a problem. What is it? You can't read. <gasps> Bro, oh, fuck. The words here don't make any sense. It's gibberish. Yeah, that's gotta be the first oh, fear. Fuck, dude. Twelve-year-old Billy Palmer was found beaten and unconscious after his kitty league game Saturday. He says he's in a coma and intensive care. This is the boy from the hospital. The theory that while one sleeps, one has another body, an astral body, which can travel through time and space. Billy's in a coma. And that's like sleep, right? Could I be seeing Billy's asteroid body? <laughs> Astral body, yeah. Asteroid body. That was great. An inordinate amount of information to work with. Lucky 19. Ah. Damn. Dad, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to pick me up till after school. Is something wrong? Well, I, I need to talk to you. Now, is this a red herring? Well, you think her dad's the monster? No, like, like everything's supposed to be a nightmare, but this is actually real. The one real thing that's not a nightmare. Mm. Gotcha, gotcha. I came early because there's something I've needed to tell you about your mother and me. Why we split up. <gasps> She's gonna, he's gonna blame her. I was wrong. Then what was it? It was you. <sighs> Fucking yikes, dude. Having you, raising you, seeing you every day. I mean, do you have any idea what that's like? You get in trouble. You embarrass us with all the crazy stunts. Bro, this is so brutal. What? Rude and you're not nearly as bright as I thought you were going to be. I'm gonna beat up her dad. <laughs> yeah, no, honestly. <laughs> it's not her dad. True. It's fake dad. I think that's the least we owe one another. I don't really get anything out of these weekends with you. What do you say? We just don't do them anymore. Bro. That hurts. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> sure thought you turn out differently. Oh, She's holy right. Fuck, I hated the pat on the leg more than anything. Like the the boy's there. See you, champ. Yeah, the Bro, boy. Go was beat up the boy. Xander kind of found himself in front of our class, not wearing much of anything except my underwear. Yeah, it was really <coughs> bad. It was <laughs> <laughs> I got lost in the sacks, and I I couldn't. Close. So why is this happening? Billy. Well, that explanation was shorter than usual. <laughs> it's Billy. 
<laughs> Cornelia's hair. This can't be happening. Oh. Buffy, why didn't you realize the kid because was there? I mean, hey, everyone's was bad. Buffy's was fucking brutal. Yeah. Like, like, yikes. And she got a double helping because she blew the test and then her father eviscerated she her. She blew the test, though. Are you lucky 19? And that's what he calls me? Who? The ugly man. He wants to kill me. Billy, it's okay. What? Just tell me. It's He's what? here! Oh, wow. Jesus. Bro. That was a whack on the back of her head. With a club. Club on. Is that his hand? Yeah. Bro, what? Is that his hand? Yeah. It sure looks like his hand. Oh, that was a whack. Yes, but we have to hide. That's how it happens. We hide and then he comes. What's going on with him? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Willow, no. Willow, you're smart. Buffy? Oh fuck. Man, this is a dark episode. That's what I said, dude. Jesus. Bro. Yo, stop, dude. What's his name? Oh, Nazis. Remember he said that? They're gonna crawl over he his said face. Specifically crawling all over his face. Someone else's loss is my chocolatey goodness. Bro, what? Bro, what are you eating a candy bar off the floor for? Oh no. Is that a no? <laughs> <laughs> it has to be said. Oh, piece of candy. <laughs> like, why are there candy bars here? Oh, That's great. My lucky day. Dude. Oh <laughs> no! Bro, <laughs> what the f- What is it? What's bothering you? Baseball. When you lose, it's bad. <gasps> Did you lose your game last week? Is it like his dad beats him? What? You were the only one playing? There wasn't eight other people on your team? He said it was my fault. Who said? Really, did he hurt you after the game? Can we go another way to find your friends? Sure. Oh. Is it his dad or his coach? Maybe his dad is the coach. Bad idea. Did you knock out a random student? Yeah. Just the off screen. Oh, no, no. Oh, uh, no. Yeah. Man, I thought you weren't going to show. What? Oh, no. She hates being on stage. Remember that last episode, the ending? <laughs> She's going to be a model. Oh, singers. She has to sing in front of an audience. That was the last episode. Yeah. At the end. <laughs> the world's finest soprano, Willow Rose. Soprano? <laughs> Why is she wearing soprano? Oh no. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot of anxiety. <laughs> that was hard. Willow, run. Punch him in the face and run, Willow. <laughs> Distraction. <laughs> Dude, saying silent was the right move. <laughs> oh, no, it's always. Wow, <laughs> we <love> can't <laughs> <laughs> A chocolate hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had one of these since my. <gasps> the dentist? Six. Oh, you're clowns. Are they Nazi clowns? Bro. <laughs> oh, murderous clowns. Okay. Guess we're gonna bury somebody. How did uh, he die? Nobody died. Huh. What's the fun of burying someone if they're already dead? Can he not come above ground? It's a dream. But it's real. I am free because you fear it. This is a dream. A dream is a wish your heart makes. <laughs> is he gonna bury her alive right now? Yeah. Come on, Slayer. What are you afraid of? <laughs> Bro. How about being buried alive? Yo, the mental fortitude she's gonna, they are all gonna have after this episode is over is crazy. 
the clown chased you and you got so scared that you had... Oh. <laughs> 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 that cloud is great. That laugh. I though. would suplex him with that fucking ladder, dude. Yeah. Nice. You were a lousy clown. Your balloon animals were pathetic. Everyone can make a giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> Things are getting worse. Wait, the police are here? Did we hear that? Dude, what's going on with the school? I see coming in classic. And it's so bright. When did they put a cemetery in across the street? And when did they make it night over there? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Just a portal to the cemetery. <laughs> Whose nightmare is this? What do you think? It's mine. Jahix. She's alive down there. Oh. So his nightmare is failing Buffy. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh. But she was so gifted, and the evil was so great. Mm hmm. She really is the dad she needs in this series, huh? Mm hmm. Oh, she was alive under there. She's like, thank God someone was here. <laughs> oh, God. I thought I was dead. Buffy, your face. Mm. <sighs> Don't look at me. You never told me you dreamt of becoming a vampire. That was her nightmare. If we can only wake him up, I believe that the nightmares will stop and reality will shift back into place, but we must do it now. Also, didn't she get her strength buff from being a vampire? Can't she go beat up the ugly one? Hmm. Well, we better hurry. Because I'm hmm. getting hungry. <laughs> that is uh, a joke, right? Well, how do we wake Billy up? What if we can't? Well, oh, do shut up. Whoa! <laughs> He's stressing. Bro. A vampire? I mean zombies. Zombies. A doctor whose hands don't work? Yeah. Bees! Yikes. Giant bees. There are a lot scarier things than you, and I'm one of them. Cold. Look. Shark buff. <laughs> you were right. I've seen Van Helsing. I have not. Ooh. Yeah. Oh God. Uh, I don't. You have to do the rest. Face your fears. Stop hiding from them. Save us all. <sighs> Take the mask off. Huh? Face his fears. My face. He's willing to acknowledge what happened. Who are you people? <laughs> Let's get a doctor. Oh, Billy's got company. Oh. Uh, I'm his kitty league coach. He's uh, my lucky 19. Oh, it was the coach. He's awake. You blamed him for losing the game. So you caught up with him afterwards, didn't you? <laughs> what are you talking about? You said it was my fault that we lost. <laughs> got him. Yeah, Xander! There's eight other players on the team. You know that. Yeah. Well, good job. What kind of motherfucking piece of shit? A little league coach. Nice going. Not even his dad. Uh, Just a I'm little glad league. that it wasn't his dad. Yeah, dude, what? I don't know. The episode was so dark. I'm surprised it wasn't like his dad. Surprised it was one of the parents. But that was kind of heroic, Xander. Grabbing him and all. Yeah, he's growing up. Well, I just didn't anybody else with him. <gasps> Her dad. Yikes, dude. <laughs> when Buffy was a vampire, you weren't still, like, attracted to her, were you? Willow, how can you... Still dug her, huh? <laughs> I'm sick, I need help. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. That was a fun one. That was. That was a really good episode, That was a really actually. interesting concept and everything. Man. So That was a rough fucking episode. So before, before we talk about the episode itself... Mental abuse! Do you guys have any nightmares of your own? Yeah, I definitely have nightmares about spiders all the time.
Actually, it, it is frequently, I guess I'll just go first. Yeah. It is frequently like the only nightmare I have, but it always ends the same way. And it is somehow, some way, me falling on my back and not being able to get up and like a turtle? being you're for, covered you're, by a spider. You're, you're scared of being a spider covered well, turtle? No, no, no. Like, meaning, like, there's one. No, I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. And I also always, for the record, whenever I have that nightmare, as an added bonus, when I wake up, and I look around, I always see, like, run off the edge of the bed. And, of course, <laughs> like, it's, like, just a, a momentary night terror. So I shoot out of bed. And, like, yeah. So that's why if I have a nightmare, it's not like I just wake up and go back to sleep. I'm, like, momentarily traumatized. Like, I'm chain smoking. and like <laughs> <laughs> You're up for a little bit. <laughs> for a couple minutes, yeah. I thought you might It doesn't be. happen often. I haven't had nightmares since i was a kid but like the majority of the ones i did have growing up were like being kidnapped by like various things in the dark like i'd always like there was there was one recurring nightmare i had that like some i was outside my house and like something with wings like swooped down and picked me up and carried me oh, off for scrapers kind of and like it was it was, it was always like kidnapping shit like i'd always just be like spirited away but in a dark way Yikes. Yeah, it was pretty awful. That's awful. Now, um, for me, I I used to have kind of some spider nightmares when I was younger, but as of now, for you guys know how I am, but those who don't know the channel, I like go outside and do nature photography when I'm bored and literally walk through the woods and pick up stuff. He so slithers I, around. Yeah, so I literally, I, I've got over that fear by just exposure therapy. Uh, so currently right now, I would say my biggest nightmare that I have that sometimes is reoccurring is either zombie apocalypse nightmares, which were fun to have sometimes, but other times they're terrible to have. Depends on which zombies are yeah. in the dreams. You know, whether they're the slow walkers or, like, the rage zombies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 28 days later versus walking dead. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. then the other dream I have is that I'm on a boat and sinks in the sharks. And the water is really, really dark. And I want to get over that fear of sharks with swimming with sharks. <laughs> so I'm a little bit... A little I've done that before, I want, I want to swim with them. I also want to go cage diving with, like, great whites. Good yeah. for you. That's how I get over stuff. You guys know me. Um, <laughs> besides that, I really don't have too many other nightmares sometimes maybe alien dreams or that you can say no, nightmares. like i said i then. legitimately i i yeah. the last time the last yeah. couple of times is always spiders without and, fail and now to discuss i'm so sorry because that's like actually like a fear that you have to run yeah, into on a daily but, basis but it's it, it's so it, like i said it wouldn't be as bad but i legitimately have like I wake up and I still visually see the little yeah. eye terror. Or I will wake up feeling. Yeah, dude, it drives me nuts. <laughs> now, the trauma. Speaking of the nightmares in this, so. Why couldn't it have just been horses? Why do so, you have to get brutal nightmares? We had to, we started with, yeah, really. Why couldn't there be nightmares um, as we as we learned? They're going to have to go horse riding to get through the trauma. They just <laughs> we, uh, we, we have a little boy who's unfortunately beaten by his baseball coach. For, that's not Which is his. Um, wild. Luckily, he's not his dad. We, we had this, you know, the theory that it could have been his dad. You don't know. Even Xander actually says at that point, you know, it could have been one of the parents even. That's actually even more crazy that it wasn't his dad. Yeah, because it's a stranger. Usually, you know, the reason why we say, you know, it could have been his dad. Well, non-family. Non-family. Yeah. 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 The reason why we say, you know, it could have been his dad is because most cases of abuse are usually domestic. Someone you, you know. know. Someone you know, yeah. whatnot. Someone closer. And, you know, it just seems like this case went too far in the sense that, like, you know, maybe the boy was being abused, but... The coach didn't take it too far, and at that point, maybe it felt like he hit him with a bat. Maybe, dude, where was the little boy? Because the bat, the boy, the the monster had the club. Yeah, the club yeah, had yeah. a club, so that made me feel like the, the coach hit him with like a bat. Yeah, probably makes sense. Yeah, which is why he was so strong. But like, where's that kid's parent? Um, well, you have to remember the monster was so strong because it's also an adult really against a kid. Child. But yeah. it was also the '90s, is, which was like a little bit more lax in terms of you know social things. Like you know, it's not like. You know, you know, you were allowed to have your coach take you to baseball games. Like I, when I was in the play, in the nineties, when I played sports, you know, our coaches would pick us up in the minivan, and take us to the game, like soccer games sometimes too. You know, your parents kind of trust the coach because they're like, yeah. And my parents were not that kind of like a boy scout. Yeah, no. Sometimes, but um, some of the nightmares in this were interesting. Cordelia's were my 
favorite. Dude, her hair got ruined. Her she her was in chess club. Yo, not chess. And her, and her, her outfit. outfit. Her yeah. outfit. She's like, I'm not in chess club. Like, what are you talking about? That was great. My goodness. Willow's was Willow's only nightmare. The nightmare about being on stage singing. Yeah. Stage, right? Which I actually appreciated. I can. She was yeah. Like, I, I, she's, she's, I'm not afraid of getting beat up, but oh god, stage she's fright. Also, like the most innocent of everyone involved. So I feel like that's yeah. kind of why. It, they took it easiest on her, but man, Buffy got the whole roughest. Well, that's because of what Buffy does. Buffy was just like nonstop nightmares. You're stuff. gonna get buried alive. You're gonna because have to deal with your vampire. father hating you yeah. and saying that they broke. They, they, bro, what the fuck was that? I knew as soon as they brought up like the, the, the dad and the divorce, I was like, this is not gonna be any happy go lucky episode. And then they literally were like, had the dad be like, we broke up because of you. Like, you're just you absolutely ruined like, my life. You are the worst spawn Wait, ever. Because, you know, it, Bro, what? it goes to show that, you know, your fears for this episode and the way the power manifests is it's not just like your overall fears. It could also be your short term fears and nightmares like, you know, missing a test or something like that versus, you know, long term fears and nightmares like Xander's being a f scarred from his sixth birthday with clowns, which great, great, great guess at the beginning of the episode that Xander was afraid of clowns. I think I even guessed that Xander was going to be in front of class in his uh, underwear. Yeah. I also it, got it just, Giles not being able to read. Those are, those that are just some, like, you, just by knowing the characters for 10 episodes, those are some things you could easily predict Xander because he tries to appear all cool and macho and what makes you more afraid. You know I mean? He fights people you know he, he gets involved in self-insert so he's well, not afraid of monsters and stuff he's afraid of being embarrassed as a boy so hear me out i think the characters and their responses to their their nightmares yep. show a lot about the character i yep. think xander being able to overcome his fear is a direct correlation of like clearly his, his character, character yeah. is able to show growth I think Buffy's just the sheer amount of stuff and the depth of them shows like how much responsibility she has. Bro, and so did Giles to a lesser degree of like he really cares about Buffy in that it's like his life's goal, you know, is to protect her. And it just it shows a lot. It's interesting. Whereas yeah. Willow <laughs> Willow's Willow. Willow's doesn't seem overly concerned or have like that much crazy shit going on. So her or traumas. Yes. Will, Will, Will's nightmare of same with Cordelia, all being a very surface level and all related to her image slash appearance. Will's fear of Xander being, you know, rejecting her already happened in the hyena episode. So I don't think she has to mm. worry about that. Remember how Will was Xander went over to Will and was like, you're weird. Don't want to be friends with you anymore. This, that. Yes. And, you're it, right. and it was, he was a hyena. So, it's kind of like another example of like exposure therapy when these characters yeah, get right. exposed to their fears and nightmares that probably won't happen as much or even be as worried about. Now, we saw, you know, a mix of some horror ones with some more lighthearted ones. The horror ones being like, you know, Xander being lured by a piece of candy trail, which was a great scene. It's such his character. He's like, ooh, I like this I candy bar. Like had a, had this that'll work on Mike. I can't believe they yeah, had no, this swastika. Why not? It's his fear. It was wild. His fear was just, but he didn't Nazis. even like look at it. It was just like, behind him yeah. as he was getting candy. That was gonna be a Nazi. I'm, I'm, I would have been shocked if they actually had Nazi whatever. No, I don't think that's they why could. I can't even believe they really had this swastikas. But it was interesting to see the other fears of just surrounding characters too. Like for example, the one in the hospital, we saw that somebody's fear was obviously the patient becoming a zombie. Yep. So they came, the doctor's hands not working. The doctor is having his hands not work is very you know especially for surgeons is a big fear, um, you know, which is the whole basis of the character Doctor Strange and whatnot, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, now, there's other things that were pretty interesting in this, too. Like, the fact is the boy is some sort of powerful psychic yeah. abilities or just his trauma manifested with Hellmouth. No, he yeah. said he was a psychic. Yeah, and his power was so strong that the master was able to detect it and be like, okay, we can use this to wreak some havoc. Now... I'm going to assume that the master that was in the graveyard was a fake master, just like it how was. Buffy's dad was fake. But it does not, amp you know, it doesn't downplay anything because it was still like his full power. Or even because it was Buffy's nightmare, he may have been even more powerful than he is because it is the manifestation of Buffy's afraid of losing. And then as a result, we saw Giles, which really was a sweet thing. His manifestation was his fear of that losing died. Buffy yeah. because it was his fault he mm -hmm. failed her. Um, it's interesting just to have one of these episodes where you get to see some of the, ca the, the fears of the characters and you know even Cordelia's who are surface level fears it was a fun one now 
I'm curious to keep. But the other thing is like, even though Cordelia's fears were like not really that bad in terms of like what would happen if she had to face those fears, but like to her, they were still like traumatic. Oh yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. the thing is like everyone's fears are equally mm -hmm. traumatizing, even if like yeah. there's a big difference between getting buried in a coffin by your arch enemy yeah, sure. and being forced well, to go chest. Perspective, by. right? Yeah, they had the same emotions. Yeah, absolutely. It's just yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, shout out to my homie in the beginning of the episode that was a spider fanatic because <laughs> I, I feel that as, you know, an animal enthusiast. Yeah, that was like this little twist little they twist. spun in there. And and I, they were like, I would be so mad if somebody killed my pets because they let, you know. Oh, oh yeah, I believe Especially it, right? in the 90s before there was, um, you know, thermostats, rheostats and like other light timers that you could use easily accessibly. You know, you actually have to manually turn those lights on and off. So like, you know, one wrong thing and those hype sensitive creatures are like, oof. Now actor was brave though because it looked like they actively just do a bunch of tarantulas on his face and body as the one hopped over his mouth yeah that was i was i uh, because uh, technically you I mean it could have went in his mouth and even though you like that type of animal which i'm pretty sure the actor probably didn't i don't think anyone yeah, wants a tarantula in their mouth exactly oh my god i know God. you don't i no, wouldn't i don't even want to be talking i wouldn't even be i wouldn't i would like not i would be at first very up upset if I was covered in spiders, but I feel like if someone was talking me through it, I'd be like, okay. But if one was on my mouth, I'd be like, <laughs> see, the difference to me is yes, like it, it's so deep rooted that, like, sure, if there was a spider on my head, I would freak the fuck out. Yeah. If there was a tarantula, but at least I know it's there. The thing that always freaks me out the most is because you don't, is, it's like, just, just a little, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> like the fear is in the not seeing it. That's true. You know? Now, feeling it and not seeing it is the... Yeah, it's going to be crazy when our 5K subscriber video is going to be arachnophobia. <laughs> it, like, it freaks. It, like, it freaks. I've seen that movie. That's not a scary movie. That's a funny movie. Oh. That's pseudo-scary. But I think this is this uh, episode wrapped up yeah. showing Buffy's fortitude because after going through the trauma of facing... Of her all of her worst fears. And specifically her father saying all those things to her, even though she like knew it was fake... I mean, she saw her dad and was like instantly smiling and happy to see him, which I, if you have a bad dream about someone, you would, at, the immediate reaction is that dream. Well, not... what was the one thing that allowed her to move past her father destroying Boy. her? Seeing someone else in like yeah. pain and or suffering, whatever, and just yep, chilling. Yep. Yeah. It's still a, now it was still traumatizing for her. Yeah. It was yeah. interesting to see how much stronger she was as the slayer slash vampire yeah. combined. Strength. Uh, she, yeah, I mean she, she did just like break his arm. She was getting beat his by big him, and then she broke his arm. It. Yeah, that was gross. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> That was a fun episode, though. But yeah. anything else? No. no. That's it. Thank you for joining us. We are the 732 Viewer. I'm Mikey. I'm Joe. And I'm Mike. If you do enjoy our content, make sure you do check out our Patreon, which does feature full length reactions to each episode, as well as, you know, just let us know in the comments below your favorite part of the episode, the reaction discussion itself. And make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. And a shout out to uh, obviously, we got the new camera, and, and we wanted, I wanted to say thank you. Toodle yeah, excited. Go. <laughs> Bye.